Embroidery Highway. Meet the people who make embroidery fun. Embroidery Highway is sponsored by ArtisticThreadworks.com. Be sure you catch the steal of a deal at the end of today's show. Or they want to do photos. And with photos, you have to pick a size. You know, you have to, there's got to be a comparison in the, the size of the pixels in your picture and a manageable size that you can stitch out on the machine. So I'm going to show you, we're going to actually do the German Shepherd that's in the tutorial CDs. Um, so we, we're going to do it the same way we did the Dolphin. We're going to pick a different graphic. We're going to pick the German Shepherd this time. And when Pattern Maker came out with the, the newest version of their software that had a, it has a very, very powerful graphics program in the software. Um, so I took a bunch of photos with me on the plane when I went on the, the trip and, and was just sitting there on the plane going, wow, wow, just going back and forth playing with this. But this is awesome what it'll do. Okay, so this is the picture. So next thing we do is we, we're happy. Right now this picture has 720 pixels by 900 pixels. Now if we did that in stitches, that would be huge. So we click next. Now this time we're gonna let Pattern Maker convert this into a full cross stitch design. Okay? So we click next. Now, if I want this to look like every German Shepherd on the planet, then I could do it just like it is. If I want it to look like this dog, then the closer I get to his face, the more like this dog it's going to look. And so I'm going to crop it. And I do this all in the software. And we click Next. We're not working with a grid. Now this is the background tool. This lets you, it's like a magic wand that lets you get rid of, I don't want a big blue box to stitch around this dog. So if I click on this now, it's going to take a lot of, a lot of the, the blue out and it the cross hatching shows you where it's removed that background but I want you to see that you have the ability to make this more or less sensitive and you do this a lot if you're working with a photo of a person because you don't want to click on a brown wallpaper and have half the little boy's hair head disappear so you you have the ability to undo anything you've done and, and undo the last selection. So for this particular one, I can make it quite a bit, not quite that sensitive, but okay. I can make it quite a bit sensitive. It's going to pull out most of that blue out of that background, and that's fine for me. But I just wanted you to see how that works. And sometimes you have to kind of play with it a little bit. And we click Next. Now, this is probably the coolest thing this software does because it allows you to fine tune your pattern before you create it. It has a foreground selection tool that lets you click and drag a selection area around the part of the photo that you want the software to spend the most energy mapping, which means it's going to put 72 to 74 percent of the color information in the recognition part of this pattern. I don't care if this dog only has four colors in his ears, I want it to look like this dog. So I'm actually fine tuning the pattern before I create it. And then we click next. Now, size. Normally for a photo, I would not do a photo at less than 18 counts. Because the more stitches you have, 18 stitches per inch of fabric, the more stitches you have, the better the resolution is going to be. And I'm going to use the default resolution or, or the default size, which is going to end up being uh, about 8.5 by 10 at 18 count, just for you to, but you can play around with this. And any time you take a graphic that has a whole bunch of pixels in it, like 700, 800 pixels in it, and resize it down to 100 
or less than 100, you're going to get some shadowing when it creates the pattern, and you're going to see that. And then we click Next. Now, I'm going to use DMC Thread. DMC has more shades of color than any other thread family. So for photos, you always use DMC. It's just way easier to do it. And we're going to fool the software. I used to try and only put in the number of colors I wanted to actually use to stitch it. Now I give the software a little bit extra, you know, enough colors to make a good design because I was spending all my time putting detail in. The default in here is going to be 90 when you first export. We ain't doing it at 90. Normally 25 colors is plenty for a dog. That doesn't mean we're going to have 25 when we finish. It just means we're giving the software this much color information. And we click Next. And we click Import. And there's our pattern. Okay. Now, anything up to this point so far, this this okay, importing. So, I'm sorry. Can I jump in here? Oh. Okay. So all of you right now should be going, wow, <laughs> because that is cool. That is is what is amazing about the software. Look at this that is, detail. This is the way to do photos. Um, and everything in, while you're in this importing wizard is totally interactive. I can go back and change anything I've done up until now, until you're happy with the way it is. Once you're happy with it, I can change the, the, the highlighting feature of his face. I can change cropping. I can change the number of colors in the design. I can do anything I want to do And while I'm in this importing process. Once I'm happy with the design, I simply click close and now my pattern's in Pattern Maker. And if I followed this color chart and stitched it out, it would look exactly like it does on the screen. For more information, go to artisticthreadworks.com forward slash P2D. That's artisticthreadworks.com forward slash P2D. D. Join Artistic Threadworks for the designs and you'll find out why people stay. Get free sample designs at 30daysfreedesigns.com I wanted to show you a couple of changes we've made to the Artistic Threadworks website. Basically we put an enormous amount of work recently into revamping the site to make it more user friendly and easier to follow around especially for folks who are new to the site and don't know what all is inside or how to get there so I have created new tour videos so you can see how to use those features on the site if you're on Artistic Threadworks and you look down here and we'll zoom in on that a little bit for you you can see the guided tour videos right there they're also available on any page of the website by clicking here where it says tour and that will let you see the new videos uh, touring the website there we go that's what the tour video page looks like and if you scroll down here you'll see that the first video in the series club membership overview is queued up you just need to click the play button and you can play that video and it's only a few minutes long and any of the other uh, total of eight videos here how to join the club how to cancel membership how to get designs and download them and so on those are the things that people usually want to know about right away the second thing I wanted to point out of this is that in the forums if we click here on forums We've created a new and simplified menu bar to get you from one forum to the next to the next. Some of these forums interest you, some don't. That's great. All the purple buttons here are different forums that you can get into. And the blue buttons are different features that are members only parts of the website. The third thing I wanted to show you is back on the home page under free stuff. If you're uh, what we call a not yet member <laughs> over here under free stuff you can pick up various free things that we offer on the site let me zoom in on that and I wanted to point out the new Friday freebie designs area every Friday for several years now we've released uh, new designs for people who are not yet members if you click on this we've just made it easier to get to those designs it takes you right to the set download page where you can get information about the website our 30 days free program 
and what the designs this week in the Friday Freebies are like, as well as a pink box that is the inside story. And then here is the download for this week right here. You can join us on Facebook, or you can get our email notification every time we release freebies by clicking one of these. But the download link for it is right here where it says download this week's Friday Freebie Designs. So those are three different things that we've improved on the website to make it easier to get around. We'd love to have you join us, and to do so, we've also made that a little easier too. Right here on the top menu, there's a little button that says Join. And if you click on that button, it takes you right to the page where you can get information about membership, and by scrolling down, you can choose how you would like to join us. Join Artistic Threadworks for the designs, and you'll find out why people stay. Learn machine embroidery at machineembroiderylessons.com. One more thing that we've uh, updated that we wanted you to know about was that on our website, if you're on the home page, we've added two new features to the home page of the site. And I'm scrolling down so you can see one of them here. This yellow thing that I call the news ticker tells you uh, what's going on on the website today. And it's updated every morning when I get up, usually between 4 and 5 a.m., although this morning I was up pretty late. It was probably 7 o'clock in the morning before I got it updated. But at any rate, what's available in here for you is if you'll notice a lot of these are hypertext links. In other words, if you click on something, it will take you to a page, which is important because uh, we can use this then to notify folks of things that are coming up shortly like new webinars, uh, seminars, and so on. Uh, we'll put a link in there. You can click the link and register for the webinar if you'd like to. The other thing we've done is that also on the home page in the center part here, we've created a new little graphic area that shows the last uh, three or four sets of designs that have been uploaded to the website for the members uh, to download. And so you can always get to our home page and then do just a quick look right here and you'll see what new designs are there and most folks would look at that and go oh I, I, I remember I got that set of designs a couple of days ago so I've got it already of course you can still get to the designs by clicking here where it says newest designs on the right side and into the club member area and so on here of the site but I wanted to point out these two new features they're quick updates for members or even for uh, not yet members that come to our website Join Artistic Threadworks for the designs, and you'll find out why people stay. Take your next step at digitizein7days.com. Embroidery Highway. Meet the people who make embroidery fun. This is Kim Banta for Artistic Threadworks. And I have to tell you, that I've been a member of ArtisticThreadWorks.com for many years and I do go to the site every single day and I just feel like it's a big family of fellow embroiderers and I wouldn't miss it and I hope to see you soon in ArtisticThreadWorks.com <laughs>